No matter who you are, if you're a human being, you have spiritual needs. In this video, I want to explain what I mean and why I think we're risking a lot if we ignore our spiritual needs. So in my work as a therapist, before people meet with me, they fill out a bunch of paperwork with a lot of different questions. And one of the questions is, are you spiritual or religious? At least half and quite possibly more than half of people answer no to this question. First of all, I want to say that I completely respect people no matter what their religious or spiritual convictions or lack of those convictions are. But I think this is something that we really need to talk about as a society. I think there are a lot of people in our world today who feel an inner sense of emptiness. There's a kind of hunger, a hunger for something more. And many people are not even fully conscious that the hunger is there because the hunger man might manifest in different ways as a sense of emptiness or meaninglessness, as feelings of anxiety or depression. People try to make this feeling go away by watching TV, escaping into their phones, chasing money, by getting addicted to video games, porn, alcohol, drugs, or food. But those things don't ever satisfy the hunger for long. They just numb us for a while. I want to suggest to you that in many cases, this hunger is actually spiritual hunger. Let me explain what I mean. In her book, God is Here, Rabbi Toba Spitzer writes, since at least the beginning of recorded human history, if not earlier, we know that human beings at all times and in all places have had what we call, can call spiritual experiences. We also know that all human cultures in a large variety of ways have developed systems of religious thought and practice to enable people to engage with the cosmos and with one another, to ignore this realm of human experience, to relegate it to random firings of neurons in our brains, or dismiss it as superstition is to overlook a significant part of what makes us human." End quote. So what changed? How is it that every human culture since the beginning of recorded history had religious and spiritual practices, but now many of us identify ourselves as not religious or spiritual? Well, the answer is pretty obvious, right? It's like, well, now we have science and science explains things that ancient primitive people didn't understand. So we don't need religion anymore. And we don't believe in the superstitious nonsense that's been debunked by science. The problem here is that this view makes the assumption that the only function of religion and spirituality was to help people explain things that they didn't understand. But the function of spirituality is so much more than that. First of all, what is spirituality? A lot of people, when they think of spirituality, might think of organized religion, churches, temples, popes issuing laws and decrees, condemning people and telling them what to believe. Others might think of really woo-woo people, people who are very new agey, who use crystals, do Reiki, recite positive affirmations in front of the mirror, practice the law of attraction, and do lots of other seemingly strange things. Yes, all of that can fall under the category of spirituality, but spirituality is broader and more fundamental than that. Spirituality doesn't have to be religious or even woo-woo. Think about the different ways the word spirit is sometimes used. Sports teams talk about having team spirit. Schools talk about school spirit. We say things like, his spirit was broken. She's in good spirits or he's in bad spirits. Or we say things like, I can feel the Christmas spirit. 
So one way to think of spirit is that it has to do with the feeling of an atmosphere or with our internal states like generosity, joy, or determination. It's not easy to give a short, simple definition of spirituality. But to me, spirituality has to do with connecting with something larger than ourselves. It's about how we find a sense of meaning and purpose. It's about knowing what our deeply held values are and how we choose to live our lives. It's about living with wisdom. Spirituality is about experiencing states of hope, gratitude, connectedness, belonging, wonder, presence, peace, love, and profound aliveness. It's about how we make sense of our humanity and our place in the universe. It's about how our individual lives fit in with the whole and knowing that our lives are part of something that extends far beyond us. And to me, all of these qualities and needs are deeply human. Throughout human history, cultures have developed religions to help meet these needs, along with spiritual practices, traditions, stories, rituals, and symbols. Even though traditional forms of religion and spiritual practice are intended to meet our spiritual needs, you don't have to belong to any specific religion or have any specific beliefs to meet your spiritual needs. We can experience spirituality, for example, when we connect with friends on a really deep level, or if we go outside and intentionally connect with nature. We can experience spiritual states when we listen to or play certain music, or if we lose ourselves in a work of art. We can experience spirituality if we take action to help make the world a better place, like through social activism or volunteering to help people who are suffering. We can have spiritual moments when looking up at the stars, when looking at the face of someone we love, or even through simple actions like sweeping the floor mindfully, knowing that deep down it's nothing short of a miracle just to be alive, conscious, and breathing. On this planet, in the Milky Way galaxy, while you sweep. To me, whether or not something is spiritual it's not about whether it's related to a specific religion or about believing anything supernatural. It's about whether it gives you a deep sense of fulfillment, connectedness, or meaning. Those are needs that every human being has. And whether we decide to belong to a specific religion or not, we have to find ways to meet those needs that I call spiritual. If we don't, if we walk through life with a broken spirit, life loses its vitality and sense of meaning. It's hard, if not impossible, to go on living like that. If you want to be more intentional about meeting your spiritual needs, and you're not sure where to start, follow me on this channel. While I do draw from religious traditions like Christianity and Buddhism, I'm on a mission to reinterpret the teachings, stories, and symbols of these religions in ways that honor our 21st century sensibilities and our current scientific understandings of the universe. It's possible for us to believe in science and rationality, while at the same time meeting our spiritual needs and being open to a sense of wonder and mystery about the universe we live in. Well, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.